30 on the East Coast and 630 on the West Coast. You are looking at video captured Saturday showing a powerful tornado in the area of Nashville, Tennessee, and this was part of that tornado outbreak in Tennessee that left extensive damage and killed at least six people and wounded two dozen others. The area is hit by severe storms Saturday do include Nashville and Clarksville, which is about 50 miles northwest of Music City. Officials in both locations expected to give an update here in just about two hours at 1130 a.m. Eastern time, and that is 1030 local time. In the meantime, this video here has been circulated all over social media, and it was shot by Philip Lee Dixon. He joins us now live to talk more about all of this. Philip, first off, uh, thank you so much for being here, and we're glad, of course, that you were not injured. Uh, thank you. Yeah, um, as far as for me, there was no problems other than I'm still currently without power. Well, first off, can you just describe to me as that storm was starting to move through, kind of walk me through what you saw and what you heard? Um, so for me, I didn't really see at first see or hear anything out of the normal as far as like a, a normal thunderstorm and I just decided to go out on my deck to see how bad it was going to be. I was watching on radar on TV. I knew it was coming through my town and was coming through my area. Um, so I decided to go out on my deck to see if I could film any of it. And I was filming for about five minutes before I heard the uh, tornado actually come up from behind where I was filming. I was filming towards the north of me because <clears throat> that's where I first saw a lot of the storms. I thought it was just going to bypassed me then i heard it behind me i turned the camera the other way and that's when i captured uh the tornado and the explosion what was going through your mind as you're seeing this and then you see that kind of explosion that happens right there in front of you um to be honest i'm not really sure i just kept the camera rolling uh the thought the only thought was to keep an eye on it make sure if it started Looked like it started heading towards my way to get to my safe place. Um, I was going to film as long as I could. Felt like I was safe to do so. Uh, when the explosion happens, it it, it definitely, uh, you know, it definitely was a shock. I didn't expect to see that at all. Um, so it, it was a pretty wild experience. Are you surprised at this point that that video has been circulated all over social media so quickly and is essentially at this point gone viral? Uh, a little bit. Uh, I, I'm surprised that a video I took has went viral, but like uh, I've worked in the news before and seen a lot of crazy weather videos, but that's one of the craziest things that I've ever seen. So not, not too surprised. I actually got a message from a friend and the video is made all the way over into China and that that was pretty pretty wild for me this morning. We know that Middle Tennessee does get some pretty severe weather as we enter toward winter. It seems like it happens a little bit less, but were you surprised at how powerful this storm was as we are in the month of December? Um Yes and no. Like uh, like I said, I've worked in the news before. I worked in the news for seven years and saw a lot of different changes in the weather. And, you know, rule of thumb for Tennessee, uh, especially the Nashville area, if you don't like the weather, the joke is wait a day. And so um, the severity of the storm being in the middle of December, yes, yeah, is a little crazy, but it's not unheard of to have stuff like this happen around here at this time of the year. When you look back at the video here now, hours and hours later, you know, of course, that it has gone viral. It's been seen all over the world. What goes through your mind here as you are watching it again and you do see that explosion? Um, the biggest difference in, in me between last night when it happened and how I'm feeling this morning is just the, the toll that I found out it took. At the time, there was a lot of adrenaline pumping and kind of excitement of kept capturing the tornado and the explosion on video. But now hearing about the deaths and about the, the people who have passed away, it's just, you know, the excitement of the video going viral kind of dies down when you realize people have lost their lives, people have their homes are damaged, and now you're just, your heart goes out to them. Um, that's, that's what I'm dealing with this morning. At this point, does anyone know what that explosion was? We've heard that it could have been a transformer. Uh, any idea what it could have been? Do we have any answers yet? I don't know for sure exactly what it was. I've heard the same thing, a transformer or something. I do know 
kind of over in that area where it happened, there has been some construction going on, some new buildings being built. I don't know if it's apartments or new houses or something like that. I assume something over there had gotten caught up in the storm and exploded, but I'm not absolutely for sure. All right, Philip Lee Dixon, thank you so much for taking the time to join us here. Is there anything else that you want to add before I let you go? Um, I just want to say to everybody who's reached out to ask me how I was doing, thank you. I'm doing fine. The only issue I have is I don't have power in my apartment, but um, there are very many people in my neighborhood that are not here and in Clarksville. Um, and my friend who originally shared this video has started a GoFundMe uh, for the victims of this storm. Uh, you can find that link on my Instagram at Philip Lee Dixon um, or on his as well. I'm sharing around. Please go share to that GoFundMe or any other donation site you can to help the victims here in the Nashville and Clarksville area. All right, Philip, glad you are safe. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us here. We appreciate it. Thank you.